All right, good morning, Bulldog Nation. It's a Thursday edition of Coffee with Coach. We're here with Coach Angie Bailey, our head cross country coach. And uh, we're gonna do a little recap so far. You've got the season underway. And I just think, who's, who's kind of making their mark? What can you tell us so far about the start of your cross country season? Okay, we've had two meets. Um, junior high has ran two different mile and a halfs. Uh, the Grano girls have come on strong. Uh, we have a seventh grader, Jenny Grano, an eighth grader, Connie Grano, and then a ninth grader, Stephanie Grano. And um, they've, Jenny and Connie have been one and two and two and three in both meets. And so that's helped us tremendously. So therefore, we've won both of those meets. Right. Um, and the junior high boys, Julian Shadden, he's still really, really strong. Um, AJ Cherry has, um, is a seventh grader. He's, he's going to be something probably to, somebody to watch for sure. And then um, in the senior high boys, we have a new runner this year, Tegan Johnson. His older brother <coughs> plays basketball, and it's uh, Kaiden Johnson. And he has found his niche. He's really a strong distance runner. And we've got Damian McPherson and Landon D4, who are also really, really strong. And right. then in the girls' side, we've got Emily D4. And um, Karis Pritchard and Ashton uh, poor are really really strong as well and Shondrea Brown who's a sprinter did really well the other night I was impressed to see Shondrea running. Yes, uh, she is a sprinter and I know what sprinters don't like to run exactly Yeah, so I was impressive. Uh, well good. It sounds like uh, we've had a good start to the season I've seen lots of medals uh, Being you know being shown off so talk about there's a lot of people that have never attended a cross-country meet unless you're a parent of a child running you probably hasn't haven't ever attended so can you just give a brief explanation of how actual meets structured or how, what they're, what's expected they were to go to a meet? It's not the best spectator sport ever, and there are some courses that lend themselves better to being able to watch uh, your runner. Um, they, they start off and they run in four different um, heats, if you will. We've got, and it usually starts, if it's after school, it goes junior high girls, junior high boys, and then it goes uh, senior high girls, senior high boys. On weekends when we run, we always try to run the longer races whenever it's cooler. So on, on Saturdays, it's always cooler in the early morning. And so then it goes senior high girls run first, and then it goes backwards from right. there. And um, right now, it seems to be working best for most meets to give the medals as the kids finish the fi go across the finish line because, you know, kids want to leave and parents are there. They can check them out because it's, it's a long day. Right. And then we do the awards afterwards, and we try to do the awards um, in between, and when I say awards, I'm talking about team awards, in between each of the other races. Okay, all right. I mean, I know attending some last year was kind of the first time I've been to a whole meet, and so I always thought it was interesting. So you mentioned junior high girls have won both meets, and I think I kind of know the secret to the success so far. I think their names are Grano. Yes. Um, so is that what's is that, is that what's up with that That group? is, and then we do have another returner when Haley Mitts, she's an eighth grader, and then we've got Kimber Carnahan. Those are our top five girls. Right. And Kimber um, is also, she's a middle distance, but uh, she's got a distance part of her that I think that she just hasn't tapped into yet. Right. So what's coming up? What's coming we, up the next week? Um, Tuesday, we were going to go to Lakeside, but it was parent-teacher conferences, and I wasn't sure. I wouldn't put it on the schedule, and then I kind of decided that I really probably need to save for parent-teacher conferences. And my yeah. assistant coach is a, um, she teaches juniors, and she's um, algebra, too. Uh, so we're decided to stay. The f we do have the Emmett Barnett race this Saturday, um, and it's just I'm calling it a mandatory practice where everyone runs um, 3.1 miles. Right. And then the following Saturday is Mansfield. That's our next really big one, and Mansfield um, is usually a really big race. And there's a new coach there, Jeff Lewis. Uh, he is from uh, Northside, and so that'll be an interesting to go to a meet without Mackey. Right, first time ever. Yeah. I know since I've been around yeah, that sure. Mackey will not be around. I'm sure he'll so. be there. Oh yeah. I'm I sure. can't imagine him I'm not sure. being there. Well, we um, we definitely have we do what we can to get videos together. The coaches do some videos, so hopefully whenever I'm able to be there. So we'll be watching Waldron Bulldogs TV. Uh, there's some videos up from the last meet, along with pictures on our hub. We'll do the best we can to, to show off these uh, young men, young women and their medals. So anything else you wanna add? Um, I don't I don't think so. Just uh, keep keep looking at the Bulldog TV because we'll always put a meet on there and yeah. it's just a small clip but it's, it's a small clip it gives you a little idea of what they're going through yeah and also if you want to support the cross country in any way water donations they need water uh, snacks for the meats just crackers maybe but water for sure I think we um, we've got some water for uh, for a while but we go through water we go through about be a case to two cases every meet so so that's the need so if you're out there and you're looking for ways to help there it is all right until next time we'll see you